Bro, we gotta do the intro first, bro. You can't go straight to work. We got shits to do, man. Let's get her done. All right, what's going on, fam? Episode 24 of Wreck Bike Rebo, the show where we take wreck bikes, turn them into dream bikes, and then we... Give them away. That's right. We actually give motorcycles away thanks to the beautiful people on Patreon that are watching this live. If you're on Patreon, thank you. On the last episode of this show, we took the uh, suspension, uh, for lack of a better term, <laughs> stuff out. So there is no suspension in this motorcycle. This wheel is just hang, it's hanging there. Trust me. So we took all that stuff to get powder coated because it's really silver. We wanted it a darker color to go with our carbon fiber fairings that are gonna look effing sick. You guys can't see them yet. So we just went to the we just went to the powder coater place. We have them in black now. And in this episode, we will reinstall them and get rid of this stupid scaffolding so that our bike isn't See, man, this scaffolding's either. not stupid. The scaffolding It allowed not... us to do this. So it, it's not stupid at all. I take it back. We can get rid of our very structurally integral scaffolding, <laughs> and then we can get back to finishing this episode and show. Ass. Huh? Wise ass. Wise ass. That's the first time I've been called something with the word wise in it. Okay. All right. Dude, yes. So our standard cover had like this little chip. Generator cover? Whatever. It had this little chip at the top, which is why we originally wanted to go powder coating. You cannot tell this has any damage in it. Because it really did. Because it's not damage. It's I mean, like, it wasn't a chip out of the metal. It was just the... Like the paint? It was probably some sort of powder. Oh, well, I think black looks awesome. I'm gonna do some B-roll of this before you get too far into this, and then we can explain what we're gonna be doing with all this. Okay. So, um, when you have stuff powder coated, there is a tendency for powder coat to get in places where it really should not be. Is this a perfect example of... Yeah, if you want to show that to them. So those two, that piece of metal uh, mates up against the engine case. This and this. And after they powder coated it, they went over that. So that mating surface is now going to have some place to compress. But because the powder is obviously softer than the right. aluminum is. So you have to scrape the powder off. So you get a good, clean, hard fit up against the frame. So this is a like before and after. Like this is what we're gonna have to do to all these little parts. This is what they came back from the powder coated with. So if you guys go to the, get your stuff powder coated, it's not a, oh, I'm just gonna take it to this guy and I'm gonna get it back and I'm gonna go to instantly install it onto the bike. So you just used a razor blade. So um, this piece will be all right, but this piece that's up against the, engine case you pretty much just flat with the razor blade and oh so it's more of a scrape and mm -hmm. less of a push forward cut yeah you know you just want to scrape it off okay Nice, everything moves good. All right, now, now we can begin yeah. the assembly. I have a real bad feeling that we're gonna have to clear the powder, cough, powder coat off of all these faces. How about we just pretend that's not gonna happen? And we'll nah, just pretend I'm and pretty we can... sure that's gonna be the deal right now. If just the side stand was this tight, this linkage is gonna be just as tight, if not tighter. The good thing is we do have the Pretty sure out, these so. are gonna be just fine because the way everything goes together, it just stacks. Right. But this stuff squeezes in between. Well, we have the Dremel out, so the Dremel knocks that shit off way faster than that. Yes, yes it does. Now when you're tightening electronic stuff, the torque spec is usually very, very light on it for a couple of reasons. One, it's a plastic block. Right. You don't want to go straight through it. Two, the 
depending on what kind of electrical part it is. If you put too much pressure on one side, you'll get misreadings from what's underneath it. Oh, that's exactly what you want on your kickstand. So you just need to make sure that when you uh, torque stuff like this down, you either use the spec or kind of just be real nice and light with it. And uh, if you think it's too light, then just go back and, you know, check to make sure that it's still tight later. I'm just going to start taking powder put off of shit I didn't think we were going to have to, so. Hashtag Dremel. Go get the air Dremel out. We have two. Oh, baby. The air Dremel. Oh. show on the video that pile of sand over there that came out of stuff? Gross. This might be a dumb question, but I assume that's the residual from sandblasting the original piece. Okay. Prior to powder coat this. Yes. So what does it just get like in those small crevices and yep. packed together and shit? Yeah, it's sand, you know. It's got some force behind it, so once it gets in there... It does what sand does? It just, yeah, it just fills all the gaps. Man, once sand gets in somewhere, it'll come out. I need to tap. Uh, we're gonna need the shock also now. The what? The shock. Oh. You asked for Loctite and then the shock, and for whatever reason, that combination together, I'm like, what is shock and do we have any? <laughs> Gotta hope so. Well, the first part of it was like, we should have two. You know, we also have an extra one of, Brian, a set of wheels and tires for a 2016 Panigale 959. If you're looking for it and you're in the North Georgia area, give us a call. Don't call me, but like, you, you can't call Give me. us a call, but don't call. <laughs> really, don't. Shoot me an email. I barely want anything from them. Kev, uh, eight mil, please. Man, did I actually do that? Mother, son of a... Wait, what'd you do? I think I put the linkage together backwards. Brian! Okay. Are we prepared for insertion? I believe so. Uh, All right, so here you go. Trade you. So that? Yes. This part goes over that big pin. You want to put a little grease on that too. Just a tiny bit. Get trying to get that. So if we have this locked in and that locked in, how do we get this thing angled? What do you mean? Like, like this thing is way off, like angle wise. So we're going in that top boy. Mm -hmm. okay. It's gotta go a good bit more. Which way? I don't know. This way. All right, hold. All right, now we need to slide the kickstand in. We should probably put some Loctite on those. Okay. You put the rear stand back underneath it again. Everyone say goodbye to the scaffolding. And we'll loosen this one first. You ready? No, but always. Come on, bad. Some tension on that one just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. All right. This feels good. Let's get this more out of the way. Dude, Dude the, the black the... kickstand is the jam. Yeah, yes. Do you want to go ahead and uh, finish this side with the cover, or do you want to go to, go ahead and go to the other side? Well, I mean, now let's go ahead and put the kickstand on, and let's go ahead and put the rear sets back on. Right.
with that. With that, boy. I don't f with that. <laughs> See how good that shot was? My little, my little hand went, on my neck. My little hand went after you tried to choke your ass. <laughs> He's like, give it up. He's like, don't f with me. <laughs> I really want to put this, install this, so we can see the beauty that that other side's about to be. Okay. You got enough you got enough time in the day for it? It's getting to run a little late for you. Yeah, we can, yeah. Let's try it. Let, I want to, I really want to see this. You say you got 30 minutes, Chase? That's not enough time. It's not, it's enough time to get it on there. Yeah, but you got to get it on. You got to torque all the bolts around the edge so it seals. Because what you're saying is we're going to have to put sealant over Yes. It. Okay, let's install this minus sealant, and okay. then we can do like a, because I want to get a final assembly of, I want to show everybody what it looks like. And then like, the only, if the only thing we're going to do off camera is like put sealant on and then put press it on, like, then whatever. Do you have to use the specialty tool to put it back on? You don't, but it makes life easier. Because you have a handle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're less likely to pinch your fingers that way. I hate pinching my fingers, so I'm down. Behind you, over by Tap Magic. Tap Magic. Right in front of your hand. Oh, you almost hand touched it. Wait, are you looking for the specialty tool? No. Oh, well, then I didn't help you at all. <laughs> Ah, I'm over here thinking I'm being helpful. Woo! I am not on, I am not on Luke's level at all. I was like, what the hell? How's he not even once? <laughs> I was like, damn, I've lost a step. And then you're misleading him. I'm like, yes, my job is secure. <laughs> Luke, let tell you where shit is before you want it. Like oh my one. God. Oh my God. Oh my God, don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Sand in the hole. Oh my God, that was intense for a second. We need a new bolt. Really? Look at the end of it. It wasn't like that. Oh my good God, did you see this? Yeah. What the f happened to that thing? So you're just gonna tap that out and then we'll get a new bolt to run through. God, I hope so. God, you hope so, meaning you hope you I hope that this f***ing works. There are absolutely no threads left in this thing. Okay, so. Now we get to show people what a time cert is. A what? Time cert. What's the time cert? Uh, it is a little tiny uh, threaded insert that you install into the hole to re- Oh, put so your that's threads a thing. In. But we don't have any, so we're gonna have to go get some. Yeah, of course. So we don't have to replace the piece then. Um, as long as the time cert works okay, no, we don't. I think, I, honestly, I have to take this much material off the bottom of this. I think maybe there was some sand in there, and then as the screw went in, it got bound in between the threads and then when I started to back it back out it got locked in there completely as I turned it out it just ground all the metal away instead of breaking the bits of sand out that was threaded all the way to the end like every other bolt that we've had on this thing oh my god yeah it used to look like that 
So is that a special bolt or are we able to just order something similar? That's what I'm checking right now. Let me see if the head is. So we don't need that bolt though, because we're going to be putting in a... No, we're putting in the same exact size bolt. Really? Yeah. I thought it was something like that. So we could do that. We could literally use that one. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah, God. We could use this one. Dude, that was everything um, we were going to order from Ducati or some shit. So what a time insert is, is like I said, it's a, it's a little threaded insert. It's threaded on the inside and the outside. So you take the hole that you've uh, destroyed your threads in and you drill it out and tap it to fit the outside of the time insert. So you basically... And then the inside of the time insert okay. is the original size bolt. Now the deal with time inserts are you can put them in crooked. So in that case, let's just put the... Let's just put the case over top and we'll have to end on that and order everything and hopefully it'll be here by next episode. Yeah, the front first, kind of get that started in there. On a happy note, the black looks cool. It does, it looks real good. Yeah. Well, now we get to show people what a time start is. Yeah, I guess that that's a, that's a good way to Throw the old boomerang out for negativity and bring back positivity. Okay, on that bombshell, because top gear. Uh, we're gonna end this year. <laughs> we're gonna end this episode. Uh, it sounds like we're all gonna get to learn something on the next one. Man, am I excited. Literally, or seriously though, I am super happy with the, I am very glad we went with powder coat on these parts. Oh, that looks so much different now. When, it made a world of difference. When everything gets here, and this is all just where it's supposed to be, that is going to be one of the highlights of the bike. Uh, thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. You are super appreciado por favor. Um, You're super appreciated. Person. Please. Please. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching Rec Bike Rebuild. You help support the show, even if you're not on Patreon, by watching these videos. So we got a lot of little things going on next episode. It should be action packed as always. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to make sure you're alerted. I'm just kidding. You can be subscribed to YouTube, still doesn't care. Uh, but we'll see you guys on the next episode. Outro crew, what do you guys think of the black powder coat on the specialty pieces? Let us know in the comments. You guys are awesome.